Hello, everybody. So we have two more days in this semester. Uh, let's get started. And then hopefully you are looking forward for the summer break after this. <coughs> so uh, where were we? Unfortunately, the last day I had to cancel to mitigate some of the urgent situation. Uh, but anyway, so let's get uh, started from the that one, lecture 22. Um, if you have any question, concern, uh, let me know uh, or any other topic, you can ask me. Uh, let me check the discussion as well, if there is any. I don't see anything new on the discussion side, okay. All right, so the uh, <clears throat> so lecture 22 was missed, uh, this concept of the interrupt and I would assume it will need to handle more in the operating system class, okay? So this is like from this class, it is just from the hardware perspective, what are the hardware support needed uh, to support an interrupt uh, system, interrupt based system. Um, and that system is mainly to adapt the slope peripheral devices. So that's the one thing. So uh, this class focus on the hardware support, uh, like uh, ISR, uh, interrupt service routine regi uh, register and device driver part. Those are basically OS study, operating systems study. We just focus on the hardware. Uh, one more thing to note, maybe on the slide nine, it's on the video probably. I have corrected the notes, the PDF. On the video, you'd see uh, the for the MIPS, the interrupt transfer control address was wrongly shown. Uh, let me just tell you. Uh, so it was shown as as this, which is not correct. This means actually in the 32 bits is it 0, 8 something, right? So the actual one, so this is wrong, this is wrong. The actual one is at one more zero there. So it is 8000180. Okay, so this is the one. Uh, it is the, this one is the correct one. So this is the correct one. Okay. So please make sure, uh, note on that, that slide nine, at least on the video, it was shown wrong, that address, please correct, it is this address. Uh, we can also cross check with, uh, uh, with the MIPS. The interrupt is a part of Appendix A in the in your textbook. So it's, uh, yeah, let me share that. Okay, so this one, uh, you see, here is a XSM interrupt piece of code, it address this, jump to the piece of code. So this is 8000, then 0180. So that's the correct answer or correct information uh, for this part. Um, then the other interesting thing is the interrupt versus the exception. So interrupt, an exception, they are basically similar from hardware perspective, but from software standpoint, it is it is different, okay? Uh, exception probably you have already handled in, in your programming language classes, like uh, catch and throw, that kind of statement. It is, is, it is an exception handling, or I, have, I don't know whether you have seen like pass error, especially who have Done programming with C, C++, um, one common error is a bus error, another whatnot. So exceptions are the processor generated interrupt. So interrupt in a loose sense, they are supposed to come from the external peripheral devices. But when a processor generates an interrupt for itself, it's an exception. Uh, for example, divide by zero is an exception. And in the programming generated uh, generated uh, exception is that throw, 
you throw some objects. So that's an exception and that interrupt service routine all this involved in that process. And that's why uh, you probably heard that don't use uh, exception, the catch throw to uh, implement functionality. You, you have to you have to use catch and throw for gracefully handling the exceptional situation. So it is for exceptional situation, but don't use it for the programming, like functional implementation for that. It is never meant for that one. Okay, saying that, um, so we were supposed to do reviews today and next day for the finals. And there is this discussion topic. Uh, okay, uh, okay, let me share again. Okay. Anyway, before I jump to that part uh, about the final exam and discussion, all this stuff, uh, is there any question for me? Professor? Yes. I I have a question in, in question seven. Question in what? Your, your sound is really low. Can you speak up a bit? Give me a second. I'll, I'll switch over to a different microphone. Uh, like this microphone. How about this? Is this any better? It's much better. Thank you. All right. Okay. So I, I had a question in pop quiz seven. Okay. Question seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to like this. Uh, oh, I mean. Uh, okay. Pop quiz seven, yes. Pop Question quiz. number seven. Okay, pop quiz seven. I really need to get to your case. Let me go there. Can I just share my screen? No, that's fine. I can check. I can check. All right. Rahul, Rahul, J K L. Rahul, yes, Rahul. Which question? Question number seven. So I, yeah. I was hoping like, I'll tell you the method that I use and you could point out the error in my method. Okay, that is the question saying that general multiplication algorithm is modified to minimize the number of addition operation of product. The register uh, of a product re register by swapping the multiplicand and multiplier values in such modified algorithm for a eight bit unsigned multiplication, how many times the product result would be, uh, product be increased to reach the multiplication result? Okay. Okay, Professor, I think I, I think I understood this. I think I understood, I realized where the flaw in my thinking was with this question. Okay, okay. so the, the, you get that general note there, right? The, the explanation. I did. Yeah, okay. I got the note and more importantly, there was something that the way I was thinking that I didn't realize what was blocking me. Okay. And so I realized what was blocking my thought. Okay. Okay. So good. So that's good. Thank you. All right. So. Okay. Where are we? Okay, we are trying to discuss about the final. So if you go into here, or oh, before that, even before that, sorry to I'm jumping just here and there, just hold on. Da -da -da, this one, share. All right. Hmm. Now, uh, this sort of solid. Okay, so one bonus point for you. Uh, so this is basically class performance. Okay. So I see it is a 41% response rate for the class. That means so far your class, everyone earned a 4.1 bonus point out of 10. Okay. So there is a sort of assignment for you. Uh, you don't need to do anything in that assignment itself, but what you need to do is to complete that review. And as this percentage in increase response rate your you will get more bonus point as a class okay so is that is i hope that uh, that's clear to you all right uh, on the discussion side if you go there there is a 
final uh, exam review topic. So it, it actually uh, shows a very detail, like, just like the midterm it shows you. Now, uh, important part is that it includes all the lectures. It is a close good close note, but you can use two A4 size page cheat sheet, both sides are allowed. You can use your own blank scratch paper to solve the problem. You can use calculator. I'll make sure lockdown browser will also have a calculator. Uh, proper explanation of the answer is required in essay question. You just don't put answer there and be done. You probably have realized that uh, from uh, your uh, midterm exam. So you need to say proper explanation and show the steps. What, how you have done, what you have done. Um, you have total 135 minutes, so it is two hour, 15 minute exam, single attempt. I will be present through a special uh, video conference, okay? This is the information. So if you have any questions, uh, you can just dial into that meeting and ask me questions. So you don't need to log in and kept yourself logged in into that meeting, into that Zoom meeting, okay? so. Uh, there is multiple ways either you can use another device with the zoom app you need to connect to or you can call the dial-up number like there is a through the telephone uh yeah dial-up number so you can use that to dial in and if you have any question doubt on the exam during the exam time i will be available all right then what are the structures exam will be 135 minutes long okay um uh it will be available for five 5 p.m. So your official time starts at 5.15 p.m. I will open this exam up 10 minutes early because there is this pre-step and setup step, et cetera, in the Canvas uh, quiz environment. So it, will take some, it may take some time for you to get into and start the real quiz. So please uh, start like right from 5.05, don't delay, okay? Uh, exam has to be taken through the responders lockdown browser and webcam, just like the quizzes. Exam will automatically be submitted at 3, uh, 7.35 p.m. Okay, so start early, need to spend some time to start in the lockdown browser, okay. Um, and turned on the, I have turned on the scientific calculator in the responder, responders browser, this may help you, or you can, as I said, you can use your own calculator and uh, what your calculator app in your phone, that's fine. There will be 70 pop quiz, quiz style question, total worth 110 points, 41 pointer, 22 pointer, 10 three pointer, and four problem, uh, I think three it should be. Uh, I need to check that. Okay, I think this is a mistake. This is three problem solving, 60. It, it's probably yeah, a little bit, okay, I, I, I loved it this, okay? But I believe there are three questions or four questions. Uh, okay, anyway, there is a one practice final exam, okay? So you can look at that uh, that exam, it will be in the same format uh, like that. Like if it has, has four as a question, then final will have four as a question. But I, I'll, 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 uh, I'll fix it, okay, I'll uh, fix it. And then uh, as usual, this practice final exam is one attempt only. It's to give you the test what is coming in your way. Please attempt that only if you have prepared yourself and ready to study the answer. Okay, so please make sure you done it uh, with enough preparation. Uh, it will be available from tonight from 7.15 after the class time is over until May 19. Uh, this one, so you can attempt that anytime in between. All right, uh, question? No questions? Okay. Uh, why don't I just see what is there in the practice exam? Yes, well done. Okay. Yeah, there. Uh, one. Ten 
pointer 40 60 Hey, I need to check that. I need to check that. I think there are five essay questions, maybe. Okay, I'll 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 uh, I'll update the information tonight. Okay, uh, just make sure you you review that. Okay. Uh, other than that, what else? Oh, by the way, that uh, final exam discussion, please make sure you put uh, your choice of topic if you want me to discuss in next class. You can bring up topics this class too. It's uh, entirely up to you. I was hoping that I'll see some uh, topic review request in this in this uh, discussion, but there is none so far. That's, that's okay. You can uh, bring it up front. Then... Why don't okay, so, we, yes, Rahul? If you're still taking topic suggestions, could we um could, could we cover the clock cycles of various different um uh, module elements that we've studied or circuit elements that we've studied? Clock cycles means what? Like what exactly? I mean, um, different elements take how much uh, clock cycle to work? Like if we are given uh, a circuit, okay. From, by looking at the circuit, how can we identify what the clock cycle of the entire circuit is? Okay, so for that, uh, so you are mainly talking about, I believe, in the multiplication and division circuit. That's where we dealt with the sequential element in the computing system. Uh, and other than that, everything else is a is a combinational circuit, you add, add a subtractor, they're all combinational circuit, that means there is no clock involved there. Ah, okay, interesting. Right, there is no clock involved. Uh, so only for the multiplication division, you see that these, um, uh, we have this register concept and that I explained in previous class that it takes clocks to complete its given operation, either you are loading a data into it or, or clearing it up or whatnot, or shifting by one bit to the left or shifting by one bit to the right. Uh, so you really need to understand the algorithm of it. Like for your level, this class, it will be roughly the number of steps that flowchart takes you to complete that, uh, complete that operations. I see. Okay. Okay. Now, um, okay. Let's do some pop pop quiz then. About you go to your. Um, I just published the pop quiz number eight. Please go to your canvas, find up pop quiz number eight, and make sure you hit to this poll yes once you are ready to put the passcode in it. Professor, do you know when um, the projects will be graded yet? Yes, projects are already graded by the grader. I need to find some time to review those bits. Maybe by end of this week, like by Sunday, coming Sunday, maybe you can expect I will publish it. Okay. Okay, uh, we have 16 of 17 said yes, ready for the passport. Uh, all right, let me, uh, 17 of 17, okay, let me, okay, here the passport.
Professor, could you give me the password code again? I accidentally pressed yes. Oh, okay. Just hold on. What's the name? name? Uh, Alex. Alex. Last name? ONG. Start with which letter? Uh, o. O. Alex ONG. Okay, let me send it to you. Did you get it? I send it over chat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, professor. Yes. Uh, I have a question. I'm not sure if I can really ask you this in the middle of the quiz, but can I try? <laughs> uh, sure. Um, so when like something asks for the range of the exponent value in like IEE format, mm -hmm. uh, does that like, do we have to take into account the bias or no? You have to. Okay, thank you. Um... It really depends on the question language. You need to be careful about that, what it is asking. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It is but a, I mean, like in general. Value, if it is of end value or if it is a, yeah. Is it, yeah look okay. at but yeah, consider okay. bias there, like if it is applicable.
Okay, I think time is off for most of you guys. Let me see if we can. So here is your quiz statistics. Uh, 63% average in class with high score 100%, low score 30%, standard division 1.09. This is a distribution. Yeah, this is this is concerning anyway. Oh, okay. So, okay, I have, okay, I think I need a pair of glass on my, I'm getting old. So this is four problem, two problem with 30 points, that is 60, one problem with 20 points, 90, one problem with 10 points, that's uh, total 100, uh, sorry, total 90. So, yeah, 60, 80, 90, okay. And 110 point worth with the 70 quiz, pop quiz, quiz style question. So these are uh, your practice in exam, uh, final exam, we have the similar uh, setup. Uh, please make sure you take it as, uh, as you are, uh, you think you are done with your preparation. Any questions so far? Um, once you finish the practice final exam, you can't access it again, right? And uh, no, you cannot access it again. Okay. Uh, hi, professor. Yes. And then for next class, we're still doing re uh, review session, right? Yeah, for the next class, we'll, we are still doing the review session, yes. Okay. So please make sure, go to that final discussion topic, make sure if you have anything specific to discuss in that class or come in class with your questions. Okay. Um, then uh, let's do this thing. Let's conclude at least our class officially this uh, today and uh, next day will be review and yeah um, and we'll have more informal discussions there uh, so let me share my screen and what i called is a grand finale uh, but anyway that's maybe exciting thing so what we have uh, learned like we had an interesting journey um, in this throughout the course where we basically um, learned that that we are uh, it's 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 kind of an like trying to look at the programming at the very basic angle basic level that how do we want to communicate with a computing system we started with that one and and basically then we learned okay there is something like an high level language which through the compiler um, it translated into the assembly level and assembly level, we can program it directly as well. And assembler takes it to the machine code where machine understand what to do. And in the assembly level, we, we did some programming extensively in this assembly level and we know how to write code in that. So in a part, in a sense, it is more like, um, uh, it's basically uh, saying that how to communicate with computers. So that's the basic theme line that we did in this course throughout, uh, at least in the before the midterm. So after midterm, we changed our gear. And also it's, when we started, we started with some sort of um, uh, like overview of a computing system. And then after the midterm, we had this uh, little bit dive down onto uh, understanding that how really those arithmetics are done inside inside a computer. Uh, if you take 147 from me in in that like next semester or so, we will basically start from this point, and you will see we'll have uh, same picture there. We are starting with these, and then. In this class, we dive down a little deeper into the ALU. We'll go a little more deeper into that in the 147. We'll see how the register file is constructed out of this logic gate. We'll do that. Uh, we'll see how the control unit uh, operates and, and what it does with, with a given program. 
And we'll also see how the memories are constructed there. And in fact, we have this project in that class, which actually builds to build a tiny processor, working processor, which uh, can run a program like a Fibonacci number generation or other, other different types of programs it can run in a simulation environment, not really, you, you will not be uh, dealing with real hardware electronic component in that. It's more like a simulated environment and you are actually stitching together, describing uh, these hardware connections and et cetera. And then you can simulate this pro that processor, tidy processor with a given program. And, and you see, this is crunching the result. Uh, for example, Fibonacci number, it is, it is giving out. So that's, that's very interesting project. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, and uh, my 147 classes is lab heavy, project heavy. Uh, in fact, I believe half of the, your grade point depends on the projects. Uh, so we basically had very hands-on approach there in that class to understand the computing system in detail. All right, <laughs> so going forward, so what we have um, what we have done here in this case, in this semester is that component of a computing system, we kind of know what is a register file does. We know what the ALU does. We kind of know what the control unit does and what is the function of the memories in the whole system in context of the whole computing system. 147 only we dive down a little deep, deeper onto a journey where we, we question ourselves how these things are done inside an electronic circuit or logical level, don't be scared. It is not really like electronic electronic circuit. I would say I, we will stay at the logic level. So uh, from here, so what we have learned, okay, we um, learned many things like number system, instruction representation, digital design. And uh, then we know there is something in the horizon. We have something like computer architecture to study on, to dive more detail onto the hardware side. There are operating system side, like interrupt controlling, right? These are operating system uh, classes, topics. There are system software topics like compiler. I think it is combined in the language course or class, but it's, it's a very interesting subject. How an high level program be converted into the assembly, assembly level program and what are the challenges there and how do you solve these problems? So these are more um, topic of the system software uh, study. So what we did in this class, we basically uh, was doing snorkeling, I would say, little dive down on the computer organization, assembly programming. Well, there are more topics on, if you want to go deep deeper onto that, you can go more as you go. Uh, we're just scratching the surface there in that whole area. So from here, where do we want to go from? Like where, do, where do we want to go? I would say dive down and explore, right? You have a start point. Now expand your horizon and go in deeper detail. So there are many courses in the, in the SJSU that you can go from here. I believe um, 149 is a must for you. If you would like, you can go with the 249. Uh, that is a advanced operating system. So these are very interesting courses. Uh, I would say definitely suggest to go for the parallel processing um, courses. They're very relevant in for nowadays. I'm not sure CS 153 is still there or not, or whether it's called a different thing, but it's more like a compiler design topics that I was looking for that you can go from here. 147 is definitely a mandatory course for you. So you will anyway take. Advanced computer architecture is still there. So you probably are entitled to take that as well. Now, if you look for some out of the CS department courses, if you want to take, I can suggest E272 or maybe it has its counter uh, bachelor degree part uh, of it just see, it is the digital design. So digital design wise in this class, what we started and also in the 147 next class, what we'll be discussing everything around the processor, all the related topics of the digital design <clears throat> around the processor, but digital design itself is a vast major subject. 
not everything is a processor. For example, the controller in the vending machine, which gives you back uh, the change. Like you, you put a note, you select item, it actually gives back you the change. It's not a full scale general purpose processor. There, you can actually build it with very minimal logic circuitry there. And so this subject deals with more like how you can make a minimal digital circuit to serve a certain end goal. So not everything is a processor in the digital world. Uh, there is a computer design uh, 240 computer engineering department that's very interesting. So this class 147 all deal with the processor, maybe a little bit with the memories, but that's not about everything of a, of a computer. Like look at your laptop. You have different other peripherals integrated to it, like display, keyboard, your disk drive, the mouse, and etc. etc. etc how really they interact with each other and how you can put them together to build a complete computing system. That's the study uh, they made in computer engineering 240 classes. So you can pick up as if your interest grows in the hardware line and, and you can explore more. So that's all for uh, this semester. And uh, then we actually next day we'll start discussing on your review topic. I can, we have time now as well. If you want to bring up any topic, let me know. Um, Professor, I had a question about the quizzes. Yes. Uh, are you planning to um, unlock the answer explanations from the previous quizzes? Uh, I have unlocked, I think, everything. If you do see something is not unlocked, please let me know. Okay, um, I think when I looked at the pop quizzes, mm -hmm. some of them, or some... at least the recent one. Yeah, I think quiz seven I opened up today. I thought oh, okay. also... Did I? Yeah, it's also opened up. Let me let me double check. Let me go to my grade books and see. Oh, quiz one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, till seven, everything is on. Only pop quiz eight. I'll open like maybe tonight or tomorrow or something. Okay, thank you, Professor. Okay. All right, if there is no more question, then we can uh, say good night today. And then you please keep on starting for your final and uh, come up with all the doubts, questions you have or any specific topics you want me to focus on the next week.